Hey everyone, it's Solvi. Today we are going to be doing Deme May's Draw This In Your Style Instagram challenge. This is to celebrate them hitting the 200k mark, so congrats again. Anyways, as you can see, I changed the pose and the expression a little bit, but I wanted to keep the color scheme pretty faithful to the original. There are a lot of really cool teals and greens uh, in the skin tone, and I wanted to challenge myself to stay true to that. I definitely struggled a little bit with the shadow being cast across the bridge of the nose, but I'm actually ultimately pretty happy with how it turned out. And I had a blast drawing the hair, a lot of really rich orange and red tones, um, and I sneaked in a couple stripes of teal, which I really think livens the whole thing up. You can see I have this terrible habit of completely finishing one eye before I even start rendering the other eye. Um, and you, sh you shouldn't do that, you should try to draw them at the same time. Um, it's easier to keep your eyes relatively symmetrical that way if you work on them at the same time. But um, unfortunately for me, I have this terrible habit of getting in the zone on one eye and then totally leaving the other one alone until the end of the piece. And unfortunately for me, I got away with it this time. The eyes actually turned out really good, but you still shouldn't do that. <laughs> I'm also pretty happy with how the mouth turned out in this piece. Um, I think that a lot of the times my mouths end up looking a little bit flat. So I really studied the original drawing and I paid attention to sort of the curvature of the teeth and the dimples at the corner of the mouth. And I think it turned out really cool, even though I changed the expression a little bit from the original. Since this is just um, a portrait and then a hand pose, um, it meant that a lot of this piece was just time that I spent rendering. I wanted it to look really clean, really sharp, and smooth. I've been pushing myself lately to try to really push my art to a more um, polished, professional level. And I think that studying other artists' work is a really important way to do that, to see how someone else handles lighting or color or rendering um, and then to try to apply that skill to your own work it can also help you realize what areas of your own work are lacking so like my tendency to draw kind of flat mouths for example so ultimately i think i learned a lot about um, color while doing this study and um, i'm really glad i had a lot of fun doing it in the future i'm going to try to continue to really push the um, color and lighting in my own pieces couple of last finishing touches and she's done. I really enjoyed making this drawing and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks so much.